It's a quick tutorial to show uh, memory pressure on a SQL Server where other tasks are running. So if I bring up Task Manager, you can see in performance, my memory, physical memory is pretty much all used, um, free 0k, 0 megs. So we can see there's an R engine running. Um, so what we're going to do here is go to SQL Management Studio, Properties, go to Memory, and there's a maximum amount of memory here that SQL Server will take. SQL will basically almost always use all the RAM it can. Um, so we're going to reduce this by 8 gigs of memory. Click OK. It's a safe operation. You can do any time. It will just kind of slowly release memory as SQL sees fit. And it will take a few seconds to react. And we should see this number drop by a couple gigs. You can see it's dropping. Free memory is coming up. So now the server is much more responsive to things that are happening on it since it has a little bit of free memory. Um, if you don't do that, SQL Server will use everything. And other tasks will suffer because SQL is generally locked in RAM. Um, could swap out, but generally it won't. So that's a handy thing to know and handy thing to tune.